How's it going everyone and welcome back to LTA 3D. Recently, Algo Laser generously sent me their Alpha Mark II laser cutter to take a look at. It features a 20 watt diode laser and a 400 by 400 millimeter working area. And today I'm gonna to go over my experiences with it for the last two to three weeks. If you enjoyed the video, definitely like, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we get into this, Elgo Laser did send this laser cutter out to me to take a look at and give my thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, they have not seen this video before you guys and have had no impact whatsoever on this video. These are just my unbiased thoughts and experiences on using it for the past two weeks. Unboxing the setup of this machine was very simple. The laser cutter comes flat packed and extremely well packaged, I must say, in a single box. The included manual is very easy to follow with pictures detailing what parts go where and I had the machine fully assembled in around 20 to 30 minutes. Once fully assembled, I powered on the machine and proceeded through the on-screen setup which will prompt you to select your language and then connect your machine to Wi-Fi. I then immediately checked for firmware updates. There was one available so I downloaded and installed it. Now I currently don't have a working laptop on me as I lost the power adapter and I'm currently awaiting a new one to rock up. So for the last two weeks, I've only been using the Algo Laser app and the built-in touchscreen on the machine itself to create, upload and run projects. I was very surprised to see that the Alpha Mark II comes with 46 preloaded projects that you can send directly from the machine without the need of an app or any external software. This is fantastic to see and is a great way for newcomers into laser cutting and engraving to get accustomed to what the machine can do and what sort of projects you can make with it. The machine also comes with a small material package including one piece of 3mm plywood and some acrylic. I also picked up some small 2mm MDF coasters to test out cutting and engraving on this machine. The first project I ran on this machine was the preloaded aircraft model which took about 3 minutes to uh, completely cut out using the provided 3mm plywood. And in all honesty, it came out looking fantastic. I was very impressed with how quickly this cut through the material, uh, that it was a single pass, and uh, the results are pretty damn good. Now, unfortunately, the bottom side of the plywood itself does have a little bit of overburn, but that is mainly due to the fact that I do not have the official Algo Laser honeycomb panel and steel sheet underneath. So I ended up having to use some old silicon cutting mats that I had from my Darkly Labs and Blazer Core and uh, that just seemed to reflect it right back up onto it. So it has nothing to do with the machine, that's just 100% on me and just trying to make sure that I don't cut my nice wooden table. The second project that I ran on this machine was the preloaded Panda engraving, which I used one of the two millimeter MDF coasters for and that came out fantastic. The engraving has actually etched into it like a 3D engraving almost on the darker parts of the Panda. And uh, overall, I'm very impressed with the quality that came from it. Now, the file was 100mm by 105mm, uh, which is slightly taller than the coaster I had, which was only 100 by 100 so the ears at the top have been slightly cut off. But apart from that, it looks great. I also did forget to uh, focus the laser on this one, so um, it's about 1mm too far away from it, but it still came out looking fantastic. So even if you're maybe a mil off or two, you still get fantastic results. I then followed it up with the preloaded flower engraving on there. And I have to say, this is probably the most impressive engraving I've gotten off this machine at the moment in the past two weeks. Just the quality of the shading from light to dark on the, uh, the petals is just fantastic. And I absolutely love this file. I also ran some tests on some 6mm MDF uh, with the included power engraving test, uh, which is on board the Alpha Mark II itself. And it turns out that the best settings for the engraving is speed of 20,000, interval of 0.1, uh, and with a single pass with a power of around 50, 40 to 50%. I also then tested the cutting by running the passes test on the 6mm MDF. And um, basically it goes from one pass to two pass, uh, three pass, four, five, six, so forth, uh, just cutting out a little square. And uh, all was going well uh, until about the four pass, five pass mark where it easily cut through it and then actually started to catch fire. So I had to stop it uh, after the, uh, the fifth pass. So basically you can do six mil MDF extremely well uh, with, four mil, uh, with four passes 
at 100% power and 200 millimeters per minute speed. Um, three passes almost cut through, but to be safe, I'd go four passes. I then headed over to the Algo Laser app and scrolled through their image library of free images that they have there. I saw a bunny file and with Easter coming up very soon, I thought that would be the perfect file to run on this machine. So I set that up, put some settings in, engraved it, and to be fair, the engraving came out really well. However, it came out a little bit too dark and you can't really see the difference between the eye and the body and the nose is way too light. So this is nothing to do with the machine itself. That's just completely on me and I need to uh, fine tune these engraving settings a little bit more. But apart from that, it, it engraved really, really well. I then also on the app had a look at some text engraving because you can do that directly on the app itself as well. And keeping with the Easter theme, I wrote the text Happy Easter and engraved it. Now, the first time I did it, I actually forgot to turn off the air pump. So you can actually see a little bit of overburn on the H and the R, but uh, it's still engraved incredibly well. I then resent the file uh, turning off the air pump and it did come out significantly better. Um, the H and the R though on the edges still seem to be a little bit darker, but I believe that's probably because it's right on the end where the laser then stops and turns back and it's probably sitting there for an extra, you know, couple seconds, hence why it's darker. But apart from that, um, it looks really good and I think you could probably fine tune that uh, on, the, on the app itself or even using, you know, uh, Lightburn or other software on the computer. Through the app itself, you can also do things like QR codes and barcodes. So I took the opportunity and uh, engraved a QR code which linked directly to my website, LT3D. And uh, the engraving came out really well. You're still getting those dark sections on the edges, but I can confirm that the QR codes do in fact work as they are supposed to, and it went directly to my website. Fantastic. After using the Alpha Mark II for the past couple of weeks, I have to say that I'm very impressed with how easy this was to use. Getting it out of the box, as I said before, took only 20 to 30 minutes to get it fully assembled, and the manual with the pictures was super easy and just made the whole process a lot easier and pretty fun in my opinion. Having the 40 plus preloaded projects on there is also a fantastic thing, and I would definitely recommend this laser cutter to anyone who's looking at getting into laser cutting and engraving. Uh, as I said, you don't have to use any computer software or so forth. You can just start off with your phone using the Algo Laser app and then work your way up from there if you need to do more intricate or more detailed designs. It's also very affordable, coming in at, I believe, 649 USD at time of recording, which is about 1031 AUD. So if you're looking for a fairly cheap but pretty reliable laser cutter, um, I would definitely recommend this and I'll have a link down in the description below if you want to pick one up. If you are looking at getting one of these, I would highly recommend purchasing their enclosure kit. Uh, when you're using laser cutters and engravers, uh, there can be quite a lot of fumes coming off it depending on the materials that you are working with. Some can be toxic. So I would highly recommend doing it in a very well ventilated area or buying the enclosure kit. Um, I currently have it set up in my garage here, so I just rolled up the doors and had my back door open and a fan blowing all the fumes out. Um, so either use it in a well ventilated area or pick up a, an enclosure kit. I believe the enclosure kit 2.0 also has a camera in, so if you wanna keep an eye on it, that's definitely a good way to do so. That's pretty much it for this sort of first initial look at the machine. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more videos on this laser cutter, or if you want like a deep dive into Lightburn or even a full review. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe. And as always, well, I'd say happy printing, but I guess, Happy laser cutting and engraving.